welcome back. It's been a while. I am going to fill you all in on what we've been up to. New Year's Eve, wedding venue shopping, prepping for our engagement party, engagement shoot. It's, it's gonna be a longer vlog, not like super long, long for me. But I'm excited to fill you in on everything because I've done my best to show everything on Instagram, but a lot's happened. So let's jump right into it. We are currently wedding venue shopping. We saw our first venue. It was like an eight out of 10 in my eyes. You? Eight out of 10 in my eyes. No, that's not what you really think. Yeah, of course, we have the same eyes. <laughs> we have the same eyes. Um, we are headed to one more that's pretty far away. And then we've got one to two more after that. We had a great morning, ran into some great people. Show them the views. Here's the views. Made it to stop number two. We found our wedding venue. It is the most beautiful place I've ever been to. It's perfect. I was just telling Dean it's a 10 out of 10. I didn't think we'd find a 10 out of 10 for our wedding venue. The first spot I was like, okay, it's like a seven, maybe a six, but we can it make it. Eight. You were on camera saying it was an eight. It was like an eight out of 10. I said it was an eight, but I was really trying to make myself love it. This one is so perfect, and I can't wait. That's what we want to hear from the uh, bride herself. And the groom loves it. Groom loves the bride, and that's all that matters. Oh, sweet. wedding venue and we've got the date locked in. I've got my dresses. Dean's gonna pick out his tux eventually but that's not like a time thing so we're we're on our way to get married. I wanted to share one of my favorite brands on here. I have shared it on Instagram and TikTok but I haven't shared it on YouTube yet and that is Espa. They have the most luxurious products. Every time I use these I feel like our home is a spa, so it's the best way really to bring the spa to your house. Their smooth and firm body butter is one of my favorites. I've gone through a few of these jars already, and the jar is so pretty that you can just leave it out on your counter. You can see the texture. I have really dry skin, and since using this, I haven't seen the same dry patches that I've seen before. So smooth. It has pumpkin seed extract, rosehip, argan oil, vitamin E. It is great for your skin it smells amazing it's it's like butter it really feels like butter they also have a candle so whenever i take a bath i'll use their bath salts light the candle and it's the best way to relax and unwind i haven't tried anything of theirs that i dislike and i really mean that this is their exfoliating body polish so you can see the little beads maybe I do this before spray tan. Just great to sweep away dry and old skin. It has spearmint and aloe vera, so it's going to cool the skin, hydrate, and condition. I just love the details on all of their packaging. It's so pretty. So this is their Optimal Skin Pro Cleanser that I am about to use. So this is a three-in-one cleanser, exfoliator, and mask, and you can use it daily. Thanks, I knew you were listening, so I feel embarrassed. Yeah, be embarrassed. So even after just washing this off, my skin already, it feels hydrated. This isn't going to dry you out, even though it is an exfoliant. It's going to provide a lot of moisture. So after this, I followed up with my skincare routine. I just can't emphasize enough how luxurious these products are and just how, how beautiful they are. You can leave these all around your home, put them in guest bathrooms, great for gifts. And not only do they look pretty on the outside, they also work and there's great ingredients in them. And they gave me a code for you all. You can use code Kaylin10 to get 10% off all the products on their site. If you do, let me know how much you love them. I remember the first time I started using Espa a few years ago and I didn't realize that my home could feel like a spa. It's about the scents, it's about 
the texture of things. It's about how they work and Espa's lines, I mean, you can't go wrong. I have not found anything that I dislike. They have amazing products. So click the link below, use my code Kaylin10, and again, let me know how much you love it. Well, I'm charging my car. I figured it'd be the per perfect time to vlog. We, I'll speak for myself. I have been having so much fun wedding planning and I think Dean is enjoying it here and there. Like there's things that I'm getting super excited about that he doesn't care too much about, but we have our photographers, videographers. I think we have the band. It's all coming together and I am so excited. And someone's pulling up next to me, so gotta go. For Racy, it's raining like crazy in LA. Today's the day of our engagement shoot. We're shooting in Laguna, thankfully, and it says it's not raining there, so hopefully I am just steaming my outfits and we're gonna drive over, spend the night in Laguna. Got a dog-friendly hotel for Alistair, and then we'll head back. Busy, busy week uh, on Tuesday, just like getting things done, facial. I get my nails redone. I tried the Hailey Bieber thing and Every time I do it, I'm disappointed by it. I'm going to another bridal shop. This one is all vintage gowns, so it'd be cool for a rehearsal dinner. Our family gets in, well, Dean's sister gets in on Thursday, and then the rest of our family and friends get in on Friday. We're definitely surprised by how many people are flying in for this. We thought it would just be LA people and pretty small. Also, we have had three venues at this point. It has been quite a headache. We had something booked and then switched and landed on the perfect venue. Yesterday we locked it in and then we found out it's gonna rain. And it's like primarily outside. We could fit maybe 15 people inside. Maybe we have 50. So we are trying to scramble and find something. Today's Monday and the party's on Saturday. It's all gonna work out and thankfully I'm working with Peer Space. They have been so amazing. Their team is incredible. We might be able to still make that spot work, but I don't know. And then I have the most incredible planner, Runaway Indie. She, Nikki, is the owner of Runaway Indie, and she is phenomenal. She's been so on top of it and helping me um, calm the stress of this. But everything is like good to go, locked in, like caterer, photo booth, everything's good. We're just, <laughs> I mean, the most important part is probably the venue, so. Hopefully we can get that figured out today. I am off to see another venue for our engagement party. We have had three venues so far. Hopefully this is the one. It's pouring down rain, so it's a great way to test how the venue will be in the rain. Hopefully this is it. Fingers crossed. Yesterday we had our engagement shoot and it was, uh, Dean was miserable and I knew he would be, he hates being in front of the camera, but hopefully the photos turned out well. Esther was great, our photographer at just like making sure there was movement, making sure he was less miserable. And to be honest, I was like kind of miserable too. It was freezing, I'm in these little dresses. Not ideal, but hopefully the photos turn out. And I told him, I was like, this is a one-time thing. We'll have these photos for the rest of our lives. It's worth it. I've got Al in the car with me. Oh my gosh. So I saw the venue. It is perfect. I didn't know I could find three perfect venues, but I found three perfect venues. Every time I was like, this is the one. And then I was so sad when it didn't work out. And the second one, I was like, this is perfect. I couldn't imagine a more perfect spot. And I was... The second spot especially, I was really, really sad that one didn't work out. Third one though, is unlike any house I've ever seen in LA, it's so unique. The woman who owns it, she said her husband is an architect and he it's inspired by Mediterranean a little bit, inspired by Mexico a little bit. It's beautiful. I can't wait for you to see it. I don't know if it'll be this video, maybe. I honestly can't see myself doing a whole video about our engagement party because that means I'd be vlogging and not having fun so probably not um but you can see it on instagram and tiktok i'll do like a walk through i'll do my best to do he just needs attention today he wants you guys to see both eyes anyways it's perfect 
it's booked now i need to change i'm like so embarrassed because i keep changing the address on i just did like an evite and i keep changing the address so i'm gonna be like here i am again changing it yet again I, I am really excited dean doesn't love parties so but i do think he's gonna have a good time it's like a once in a lifetime thing we're only getting engaged once only getting married once welcome to cal pico's ranch this is my favorite place to stay of all time i really think it's my favorite hotel ever period it's in malibu and it's the perfect staycation come out here when i've been feeling stressed or overwhelmed or just down and it just lifts my spirits it's there's something about this place that is just magical what's so cool is i've stayed here a few times not many times just a couple and i've stayed in a different place each time and each room has its own charm this room is just amazing i'm like losing my mind so we have our engagement party this weekend we're staying here i don't know why alistair's in the shower um we're staying here i'm just so happy this is like the perfect place to get ready decompress all our families in town i'm trying to get dean's sister to come meet us out here tonight it's i just like can't stop smiling when i'm here and i want my home to feel like this one day maybe but i'm gonna give you a tour dean's gonna meet me out here in like an hour or so we're gonna grab dinner drinks there's also this amazing bar called the house bar that just opened it's so cool again what i want my house to look like it's this really cool ranch style let me give you the tour i'm just freaking out i'm losing it begin the tour here is our front door that leads to our patio honestly the sounds of this fountain are like really soothing me i love the olive trees everywhere i'll take you into our living room complimentary champagne beautiful living room. I want this mirror for my house. The bathroom is amazing. I just like everything about it. I want to color these cabinets. I want this whole setup. The shower is my dream shower. So pretty. And then the master bedroom is beautiful. Which leads out. I also love that. That's so cute. Oops. The master bedroom which leads out to this beautiful area so there is a bathtub if we want to take a bath at night or the day I guess outside like it is unreal I wanted to get married here so bad unfortunately it's not in our budget this was a little bit of my lazy vlog I didn't use my camera that often but honestly I'm surprised I vlogged at all because it was such a busy week such a busy past few weeks just with all of the wedding stuff now I'm sick. <laughs> I've been sick for the past few days. I just feel exhausted. I feel like crap. And on top of it all, we had the best engagement party. Truly perfection. I would not, I would have changed one thing, which I'll get to. Aside from this one thing that was my fault, I would not change a single thing. I wish we got married that night. I'm not kidding. It was just unbelievable. Pretty much every single person there that we care about was, like a few people weren't able to make it. That's the one reason I'm, I would have been sad if we got married, but almost every single person that we love was there. Almost. It was magical. I think I, I keep using that adjective, but that's what this time has felt like to me. It just feels magical. It feels blissful. It is so fun and everyone's like enjoy it this is such a fun time and it has been so much fun i also feel like i said this in the last vlog maybe i didn't but i feel like i've said this before but it's true i'm having a blast and dean was dreading the engagement party but he had so much fun as well and all of our friends just seeing like our friends and our families our families haven't met seeing them interact seeing our friends and our families interact was so much fun one of the highlights of the engagement party, everyone left for the after party. There was just a small group of us, some of our really close friends. Again, not all of them, but some of them and all our family was there. And we just, instead of, because Dean and I both kind of hate being the center of attention, instead of people talking about why they love us and why we're special, we went around to every single person there and told them why they're special to us. It really was a highlight. It was icing on the cake of a perfect night. Now getting to the one imperfect thing that happened. I also, not only do I not like being the center of attention, I know I did pageants, I've evolved, I've changed, I don't like being the center of attention. I also don't like people 
doing things for me. And there were gifts and like my clothes and, and just like random things around the house, flowers. And I didn't want people to carry them to my car. I wanted to do it. So I'm in my heels and my dress. It's raining. It's been raining all night. And I slipped and fell harder than I've ever fallen. And I got up and you know when people see and like that makes you emotional? I looked around, no one saw. I was like, toughen up, swallow it. That was so painful, you're fine. And I looked at my dress, granted it was dark because I was outside near my car, but I looked at my dress, I'm like, cool. Like not even dirt on my dress. So then I walked back inside and Nikki, the planner, was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? There was blood all over my skirt. Like not a little bit of blood, not a tiny bit. It was all over it and just would not stop bleeding. And then my mom walked in and it's like, it's, it's when your mom asks you if you're okay that it just is so hard. And I was like, mom, you gotta go because I'm not crying. <laughs> and then she left and I cried to Nikki. <laughs> I was like, why? It's like, it didn't even hurt. It hurt really bad, but like, I wouldn't cry over it. I think it was just like a lot of emotions. So Nikki is a saint. She's amazing and took her skirt and gave it to me so then I was able to go to the after party and not have everyone at the after party asking me why there's blood all over my skirt. She also like got seltzer water, helped me, and as soon as we got back to our hotel, I soaked it. Hopefully it's okay, it's at the dry cleaner right now. I'm supposed to pick it up in like an hour or so. So fingers crossed. Not only did it was it covered in blood, there was so much dirt on it from falling. I guess I just missed it in the dark, but you know, Whatever, if that's the worst thing that happened all night, so be it. And now my knee is so swollen, I can barely bend it, but oh well. So, <laughs> thanks for listening. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.